So every few months I draw my social media accounts as fantasy cities. This time I'm doing it a little different. For the purpose of this video I made 73 hours worth of drawings, like literally according to Procreate. Which it might not look like on the surface of just one image, but trust me, it gets stupid. Anyways, let's get this started. The Great Powers The TikTok Empire and the Instagram Kingdom TikTok is the largest city on the map, though it's one of the younger settlements both on the age of the account and the actual demographic age of the people that follow me on there. I went for a mix of feudal Japan and Manhattan. Despite working on this city for 10 hours, I still think about it as a rough sketch. Mostly because how long it takes to draw a city, like I just, there's so much to add to really finish it and I didn't want to do that. If you look at the bottom here, you can see some of the comments I drew, including myself sitting in a chair drawing the whole map again, because why not? In my first drawing two years ago, it was ironically a small village of 14 people. I even recall at the time struggling to get like a single view on my videos, so this is pretty weird to see. Next is the Instagram Kingdom, the other great power, and one of the oldest. Personally, this is where I live if I spawned into this world, probably in an apartment like this, eating a lovely Stegosaurus taco. Subconsciously, I think I based it off the second game from the Fable franchise. That is, just a more typical fantasy world, like with heroes, guilds, and dragons. Together, these two powers make up over 98% of my world's population. Thus, they drive most of the important decisions and directions of the world. But there are others as well. The middle powers. First is the YouTube Republic. Population 4110. I modeled the YouTube Republic after ancient Greece with a mix of, you know, the Mediterranean climate, southern Italy, and a bit of southern California, at least just the weather part, built on the ruins of my ancient YouTube channel. The Republic is where you'd go if you'd want to really make something different in the world. It's a city that's a lot more open to new ideas. Even though it's small and unassuming at the moment, I like to think of it as the golden goose that will one day grow into something bigger. Facebook Town. Population 10,693. Further in the mountains we have Facebook Town, which has actually undergone a 10 times growth spurt in the last few weeks, despite the older population, like literally in the demographics. The design of Facebook City is similar to the Instagram Kingdom, since they have a lot of close ties to each other in my universe and uh, in the real world obviously. For Twitter, or X, I didn't go into much details for this or the next great power. So, no zoom video, sorry. But the theme, as with my last drawings, is a desert town along the river, inspired by ancient Egypt. The Twitter town history goes back pretty far, rising around the same time as the Instagram kingdom. Reddit is Reddit Island. Again, I'm not too much into the detail on this one, but I designed Reddit as a volcanic, cult-like island with a circus theme. I think it fits pretty well. Now, Reddit's history is actually pretty interesting in my world as it was the original superpower, with posts directly leading to the early rise of the Instagram Kingdom and Twitter Town. I can make a whole other video on this history. But what about my more obscure accounts? Well, for those I have a different classification. The Minor States. These are so small that they're just tiny pixels on the canvas, really. So let's do a quick speed run. Snapchat in. Okay, since I have actually hopes for this in the future, I did create a little zoom for it. It only has 13 residents, and remains a small inn on the rugged tundra far down the lonely road from the Instagram kingdom. In the eyes of the people of the world, literally my followers, this place is pretty far away and basically completely unknown. Due to a robot invasion of other nearby settlements, this inn has to stay a little bit fortified. We'll talk about that with the next one. Art Station. Inspired by McMurdo and other Antarctic stations, it's out in the frozen tundra, a place to research art and improve. Unfortunately, it was taken over by robots, uh, <coughs> AI, <coughs> so I don't post on there anymore. Tumblr Town. I didn't even add a road because, to be honest, I don't have any links to my Tumblr and I'm not sure how to add links for followers from my Tumblr to find me anywhere else. Amino Swamp. Most of my followers are from the One Piece Amino, and it actually grew a decent amount. Alt IG, otherwise alternate Instagram. Sun Kid. This was an account I created a few years ago to post only traditional drawings, but I kind of just forgot about it. 
deviant art. Deviant art has been overrun by robots. Not much more to say there. Picnic Ranch. It's just an isolated ranch in the desert with a few dozen people. Not much goes on here. And Patreon. Patreon is a luxury floating island. It's basically my world's version of Mount Olympus or Elysium. Also, just shout out to my patrons in general. My world has gone through many ages. From the rise of the ancient YouTube kingdom, through the dark ages to the age of the Reddit Armada, and early Instagram and Twitter, to the explosion and growth of the TikTok empire. Now it has transitioned to a multipolar world that has mostly stagnated. Yet, this is all pretty insignificant when you think about another thing. If everyone's account was an inn, city, or even empire, what would that combined world look like? But maybe that'll be for another video. Thanks for watching guys. Also, yes, I'm in a hotel room.